see that God has treasure for you. He gave you a happy birthday, uh, viewers, and uh, especially those in Europe. And to our worshippers, we have got some fantastic expressions all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is the Fountain of Life Church in Lukuju where signs and wonders are part of our normal everyday life. If you have not keyed into that, you need to, because that is our theme for the year. And guess what? It's our theme for the month also. I hope you have been paying attention to all of the messages that have been going on since January. Well, even before January. Now, if you're a real fountain here, you would know that by now, it is that this 2024 was a good year. January was a good year. February was a good month. Sorry, January was a good month. February was a good month. You know why? Because we have already ended February. And we ended February on a good note. We ended February with signs and wonders as part of our everyday expression. You know what? There was something that Pastor Jimmy said that really challenged me. And that was that, you know, why aren't we laying hands on those who are sick? Why aren't we doing things that Jesus did? And it's because, you know, we're afraid. But we're not the ones that give ourselves the great commandment, are we? We're not the ones that give ourselves the, the um, commandment to go forward and to, com to, to do these signs and wonders. He's the one, Jesus Christ himself and God, are, they're the ones who will make these things happen. You're not the one who has the power to do all these things. He has given us the power, yes, quite all right. Our job is to go out and do signs and wonders, believing in him, trusting in him. Something we've been learning about expectations, and, you know, um, and faith, you know, this month, this month of January into the month of February, is that a son expects, a slave begs. If you're a son, you know to expect, to expect that things would happen when you stretch out your hands and you decide that a miracle should happen in a particular situation. I'm not talking about just, you know, contracts and, you know, just praying for sickness and, and you know, headaches. Well, you can start with that if you want to build your faith, which is great. But you also believe God. Expect great things to happen in your life. I'm talking things that are out of your mind. If you can imagine it, it is not good. If you can, if if you can, if you can imagine how it will be done, it is not good, because God is the one who determines how it is done, right? God is the one who determines how it is done. So believe God for great and mighty things this month. Believe God for signs and wonders that will be worked through you. I want to welcome especially our viewers online, especially those who are joining from different parts of the world. Let us know where you're watching uh, the Fountain of Life Church from. It would be nice if you told us. I'm right now on YouTube and I can see that there are just a few people watching and they haven't told us where they're watching from. So it would be nice if you actually like, you know, popped in, said hello. I mean, this is your family. What would you do on a Sunday morning when you came out in the morning, you know, from your room all tired and, you know, ready for Sunday service? What would you do? You would... You would, you, would, you would look for family members. You would say, good morning. You know, happy Sunday. I hope that this is a great day for you as much as it is a great day for me. So I, I hope that that is what you will do. I hope that you were popping. There are other means, you know, of also saying hello. We have our, our, uh, uh, what's, uh, our uh, Instagram handles. You have uh, Pastor J's Instagram handle. I am that PJ. You have uh, Pastor Tolu's uh, Instagram handle, Tuluani Odukoya. You, have, um, the, the, you, know, you also have the handles on Facebook as well as on Twitter. You can also pop in there and just say hello. It would be nice for you to, walk, to you know, just say, say hello, say good morning. This is where I'm watching from. You know, I'm dedicated to this service. We know that there are many fountaineers who are fountaineers, but they are still on the outside. It would be good if you stopped, you know, as the world would say, shacking up with us and instead become a committed member. So we appreciate your joining us from everywhere you are. Oh, well. The messages have started pouring in. There are people calling in from uh, Amiton. Toby is, is watching from the UK. She doesn't say what part of the UK, but we appreciate you, Amiton. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, you also have Samaria Mvula, who's in Missouri. Uh, glory to Glory says, good morning. <laughs> Hosakolo is in Nigeria. Nigeria is a very big place, for those who don't know. <laughs> you need to specify what part of Nigeria you're, you're watching us from. Uh, oh, yeah. Glory now specifies she's watching from Sydney, Australia. 
thank you for joining us. Uche Joy is watching from Abuja in Nigeria. Thank you for being specific. We appreciate that. Uh, well, Amito again mentions that she's watching from the UK. Uh, Chiamaka Egenti is in Nigeria. Again, Nigeria is such a big place. You need to specify what state or what city you're watching from. Thank you, Goshen, for letting us know you're watching from Ibadan. Uh, yes, Yetunde Awobi is greeting the family. We agree to you too. Uh, Perfect Morning Church says Israel Lawal. He's watching from Turkey. Thank you. Say hello to our Turkey family. Uh, we appreciate them. Uh, Shade is watching from the UK. Oh, Jinle is in Cambridge. And Ms. Adeniji is also in Ibadan. <laughs> Israel, well, we know you're in Nigeria, but please specify the city in Nigeria that you're watching us from. Uh, Stefan is in Los Angeles in California. Thank you so much. Uh, Olajumoke is in Lagos. Yeah, you're, you're in Lagos. You could actually jo Do you know you could pop in? You still have time. You still have time to pop into the church physically, you know, to worship with us. Um, a full presence, you know, in present service is going on in a few minutes. Um, Osakolo is watching from Benin City. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Well, keep those locations coming in. We want to know that our online family is, is watching and we appreciate you so much much. I mean, you've been very supportive of us. We, we appreciate that you're watching, you know, you're participating in the service. I know a lot of you wish that you could be here in HQ, you know, participating in the service, at least to see Pastor Jimmy in action. Um, it's been a wonderful time. I guess what we're in for an even greater time this month of February. Why? Because Pastor Jimmy will be speaking on what is love. In fact, he's given us an expo. He says the whole month of February is about love. Well, we all think that the month of February is about love, but how do we understand love? I mean, I, I can't even fathom what he's going to talk about, but I know that it will be exciting, and I look forward to it. Uh, you know, he also did something really exciting some Sundays ago, so I, I, I believe that those, you know, you know yourselves, those of you, you know yourselves, who came out and those who came out in their mites, you know, you can also uh, greatly benefit, you know, from this. I encourage you not to miss any of the messages this month honestly do not miss any of the messages this month it will be awesome it will be awesome and if perhaps you miss if perhaps you miss any of the messages you know what you can always go back on youtube and watch them again you can watch them on youtube you can watch them on any of our social media handles they're always available one thing we found in the life church we will always post the messages of our pastors online and guess what you can also follow the worship the worship itself you know the worship that pastor tolu leads before the message you can also join that too join pastor tolu's uh, uh, instagram handle join her facebook handle as well you will you 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 would you would be you will be introduced to a whole world of worship that's something pastor jimmy said this week and that was like spend five minutes just worshiping god every day it just opens up your day. Honestly, it does. It really does open up your day. Let's keep looking out for those who are watching online because we appreciate them so much. Um, well, we already mentioned Elijah Moke and Osakolo watching for Benin City. Oh, Araba is in Texas. Araba, thank you so much. We know the time difference is not convenient, but we appreciate that you're watching us from there. Uh, Chiamaka is in Lagos. OVA is in Ikate. Ile Reolua is in Poland. Wow, look at the ends of the earth that God just takes us to. Um, Aripi is in the UK. Um, Josephine is in Albany. I believe that's in New York. Um, thank you so much. Oh, Shelley is in Marlboro, Ogun States. Thank you so much. We appreciate all of these. In all of these messages, Kemi is also in Adelston in the UK. We appreciate your joining us, you know, on Fountain, the Fountain of Life Church this morning. Thank you so much. And I also hope that you joined us for, you know, the anointing service on Friday. Oh, it was an awesome service. It was not to be missed. If you missed it, tell you what, you can always go back on Facebook. You can always go back on YouTube. You can always go back on Instagram and review the message. Really, really important. You know the thing I love about, you know, the way Aunt Noyton's services go these days? It is that you would have done all the work. The anointing really comes from God. 
you know. You'd have done all the work, you know why? Because you'd have joined in the prayer and fasting from Monday to Thursday and even to Friday. And then guess what? Friday is the culmination of it all. Pastor Jimmy doesn't have to lay hands on you for you to receive what God has planned for you. Guess what? God himself will touch you and, and meet you at your point of need. If you're joining us today, make sure you have an expectation. Make sure you're coming to church, you're joining us with an expectation. An expectation that God will meet you at your point of need. An expectation that even if Pastor Jimmy doesn't mention your case, you know that God himself... You see, some of the cases that we've heard, you know, in church this past few weeks, it's been like, you know, God listens to even our private conversations. You remember the lady who was having a conversation with her son in, in the house before, you know, she left for Thursday showers? She didn't tell anybody what conversation she was having. But guess what? God was there when that conversation was taking place. And then God told Pastor Jimmy about it. Did we see Pastor Jimmy calling the son and telling him, you need to be in church on Sunday? I, I hope the boy made it to church on Sunday because, I mean, uh, having received a call from someone that he never expected to, I'm sure that he, I'm sure that he was here. He couldn't have missed it. But, you know, come to church with an expectation, especially if you're a son, especially if you're a daughter of God, especially if you identify with the body of Christ. Never come to the presence of God without an expectation. Always come believing that God will do something in your life. And maybe you don't have any needs. I venture you don't have any needs. Come believing for someone in your life. Because someone needs something. Someone, someone, is, someone in your life is in need of something. Someone in your life is in need of healing. Someone in your life is in need of the touch of God. Someone in your life needs salvation. Come with an expectation to the body of Christ. Come with an expectation to church. I appreciate all our online uh, viewers. Nelly is in London. Thank you so much for joining us. Audrey, you didn't tell us where you're watching from. Gabriel is in Benin City. Thank you so much. Uh, Peter, well, I guess you're saying amen to what I've said. Uh, well, uh, Uche is saying happy birthday to someone. Oh, sorry. Goshen is saying happy birthday to someone. Thank you so much, you know, for all of... Keep it coming, you know. Keep it coming. Service will be starting in a few minutes you know, with prayers, I encourage you to join in because that is equally important. It is just as important as the service. Please join in the prayers. And if you're on your way to church, please hurry. I'm telling you, please hurry. Because the way church goes these days, before you know it, all the pews are filled, you know, and, and, and you've been sitting in the overflow or somewhere, you wouldn't be able to see the pulpit from. So please make it to church in time. If you're like me, you don't like sitting anywhere apart from, you know, the middle, you know, where you can go front and center, you know, with the, um, with the pulpits. I, I, I would suggest that you're coming in time. Uh, the, the Holy Spirit has, has convicted me through someone about coming to church really early. So that has affected my life. I'm making progress. And if you're making progress with me, say amen, because we'll make progress together. <laughs> we'll be here in time together. Thank you so much. Oh, Nikki is in California. Nikki, thank you so much for joining us. I, I appreciate you. Um, oh, Nelly says that she has decided to start worshiping here. Nelly, we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Really, really good. Yes, uh, Nelly also says she watched a clip on Facebook, Thursday showers. She said it captured her heart. Nelly, thank you so much. Once again, stay tuned. The Fountain of Life Church service starts in just a few minutes and we'll be seeing you after. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Fountainiers. Can we please rise? Welcome one another to service this morning. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? Let's welcome one another. 
Let's appreciate God for his presence, for us being here this morning. Let's thank God. Welcome your neighbor. The, today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a glorious day. Today is a wonderful day. Today is a day of blessings. Welcome one another and appreciate one another. For our God is a good God. Mariga sondo robo koshenderia. Hori baba baka senderia. We are here for business with the Almighty Father. We are here to dine with the Almighty God. We are here to hear from him this morning. We are here to receive in the name of Jesus. Welcome yourself, welcome yourself. Oh, ma seke riga sondo robo shenderia. Riba seke riga sondo robo shenderia. No more movements. Please come in quickly if you're coming into the service. Mariga sondo robo koshenderia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are a good God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, banla. Hey, oh, banla. Oh, banla. Hey, oh, banla. Kelo she o, ope o go kari o go o. Ala de o go ma o le. Kelo she o, ope o go kari o go o. Ala de o.
heart appreciating the Almighty Father for today. Oh, my sick head, I want you to praise the Almighty Father for being here this morning. He loves you and he cares for you. He provided for you all these years. Rima Senderia, the God of heaven and earth, the God that changeth not, the beginning and the end, the bright and the morning star. Father, Lord God, we praise you. Father, Lord God, we exalt your name. Rima Sekeriga Sondrobo, Riba Kasiriba Kuntaria, Rabba Sondrobo Shedia. Father, Lord God, we are expectant this morning. We are expectant. We have the posture of expectancy this morning. La Masenderia, the posture of faith, believing in you, Almighty God, that whatever we ask for this morning is going to be done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have Masenderia, confidence in your character. Because you don't fail, Almighty God. We have confidence. We have the assurance in your character. Riboko Senderia, Hora Baba Baba, Horomo Senderia, Father Lord God, we align with your will. Rimbrono Senderia, as we pray this morning, we align with your will. In the name of Jesus, Hora Baba Baba Senderia, Rimo Siri Bokuntaria, Riga Senderia, we are here, Lord God Almighty, to be blessed of your mighty Father. Riga Siri Bokuntaria, Hora Baba Baba, Horobo Senderica Senderia. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm 65, verse 1 to 3 says, What mighty praise, O God, belongs to you, his people. We will fulfill our vows to you. For you answer our prayers, all of us must come to you. Though we are overwhelmed by our sins, you forgive them all. What joy for those who choose to bring near those who live in your holy courts. What joy awaits us inside this sanctuary. Let us thank God this morning. He said he is ready to answer our prayers. Rima Sekeria. What is that thing that you are bringing to God this morning? Do you have the confidence in the Almighty Father that he will hear you and he will answer you? Mariga Sekeria. He said, I will answer. He said, I will answer your prayers. He said, I will answer your prayers. God is not joking. Rama Sekeria. He speak. You've got to speak. Ask him and God is ready to answer your prayers this morning. Riba Sekeria, we are here, Lord God Almighty, because we have the confidence in the Almighty Father. We have the confidence in his character. Riga Zenderika Sonoboshim. He never lies. Whatever he says, he does. Rimbrono Senderia. He says, Speak to me. Speak to me. Whatsoever you speak to my ears, that will I do. Rabba Sondoroboko Senderia. His promises are yea and amen. Riga Zenderia. Hold up, Baba. Are you joking with my God? Do you know who this God is? If you know who he is, then you will tie your wrapper and face him and ask him and say, Father, I believe in you. Lord, I trust in you. Rimo Sekeria. Riba Baba. Rimo Sekeria Senderia. We are not going to live there the same again. Rimbro no Senderia. We are going to be sure that he has heard us as we lift our voices to him. Rama Sekeria Sondrobo. Rimbro no Senderia. I'm excited this morning because I know the word of God is truth. He said he is faithful. You will faithfully answer our prayers. He will faithfully answer our prayers with awesome deeds. Oh, my Senior, he will faithfully, he will faithfully, he will faithfully answer our prayers. Oh, Rabba Baba Senderia. Riba Ka Senderia. Oh, Rabba Baba Syria. Rimbro no Senderia. Riga Zege Riga Sondrobo Oh, thank you, Almighty God. Lord, we worship you. Then we are praying for our country, Nigeria. He also says, those who live at the ends of the earth, stand in awe of your wonders. From where the sun rises to where it sets, you inspire shouts of joy. The Lord will inspire shouts of joy in our nation. In the name of Jesus, I don't care what the dollar says. Oh, my sacred year, we are not going to walk by what we say. We are not going to walk by sight. We are going to walk by the word of God. He says he inspires shouts of joy. We will shout for joy in the name of Jesus. We will shout for joy. Mariga Sender, when people are saying there's a casting down, we will say there's a lifting up. When we want to eat, we will have food on our table. Rimo Sender, we might not have money in the account, but we know that God will feed us. 
Our God is a good God. He never lies. He is a faithful God. Who do you trust in? You trust in the Father Almighty God. When you trust in Him, do you worry? You don't worry because He takes charge. He takes control. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Then He said in verse 9, He said, you take care of the earth. He will take care of the earth and the waters in it, making it rich and fertile. The river of God has plenty of water. It provides a bountiful harvest of grain, for you have ordered it so. God has ordered it so. Our land will provide bountiful of grain. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not lack. This nation will not lack. In the mighty name of Jesus, Remo Senderia, he will give creative ideas that will make us to expand. In the name of Jesus, our minerals, all of us, Senderia, all of us, will announce Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus, Remo Senderia, our leaders will have the wisdom, Remo no Senderia, to do the right things. In the name of Jesus, Rabababa, we speak peace into our nation. In the name of Jesus, I said we will not agree. Oh no, we will not agree. We speak peace into our nation. In the name of Jesus, Ramas Shenem. As the Lord speaks, there we hear. As the Lord speaks, there we hear. Rabba Baba Sondorobo, Rimo Senderia, Riga Gaga Gaga, Horobo Senderia, Rimbro no Sekerik Azenere. Glory be to your holy name. We are going to be praying for our senior pastors, Pastor Jimmy Dukoya and Pastor Tolu. Haramas Senderia. God is going to speak to them today. In the mighty name of Jesus. As they speak, things will happen. We pray for the wisdom of God. The Lord says, I will instruct you and I will direct you the way to go. And I will teach you what to say. Lord, we teach them what to say today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Riga ga ga ga, holo bo sende rika siri bo kuntaria. Rim bro no seke riga sondro bo, holo ababa sende ria, holi ma siri bo kuntaria. The word of God tells me, in Isaiah 54, he says, The Lord God has given his servants the tongue of disciples as one who is taught that they may know how to sustain the weary with the word. He awakens them morning and morning. He awakens their ears to listen as the disciple, as one who is told. God will, has taught them. Hold them. Every morning they wake up. He puts his words in their mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus. They hear him when he speaks to them. In the name of Jesus. Rama Sender. Speak. Speak. Prophesy into their lives this morning. Rimo Sekeriga Senderia. Bless them beyond their God's imagination. Rimbro no Senderia. Bless their children. Bless their loved ones. Bless their grandchildren. Mariga Senderia. Hold up, Baba. Their descendants to fourth generation. Rimbro no Sekeriga Senderia. Our God is a good God. Our God is able to do all things. Rimbro no Siriba Kuria. Raga Senderia. We are here, Lord God Almighty. We will not go back the same again. As the words are spoken, he is going to bless us. In the name of Jesus, miracles will happen in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus, the sick will be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blind, their eyes will be opened. In the name of Jesus, the deaf will hear. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will do only what he can do. In the name of Jesus, in the lives of the people. Fountain years, you are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Fountain years, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Rima Sekeriga Sondra Oh, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Oh, we praise you. Oh, God of heaven and earth. We praise you. Oh, God of heaven and earth. Oh, heaven and earth. Oh, heaven and earth. Oh, heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you're excited to praise the Lord, I want you to raise, rise up on your feet and scream hallelujah. Thank you. 
of God, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands to him.
to my voice and I will sing, I will sing. My Savior, my God and King, I will sing holy, hallelujah, holy. I'll take it again. Oh, I will lift my voice and I will sing, I will sing holy. Savior God, my God and King, I will sing holy, hallelujah, holy, sing. I will bless the Lamb of God and sings upon the throne. How we worship Him, how we worship Him and give Him to Him alone. Everybody say holy, Jesus. Holy, you are holy. of the Most High. We shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him shall we trust. Surely He will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under his wings shall we take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see see the reward of the wicked because we have made the Lord our refuge even the most high our dwelling place no evil shall befall us nor shall any plague come near our dwelling place 
for he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways in their hands they shall bear us up lest we dash our foot against a stone we shall tread upon the lion and the cobra upon the young lion and the serpent shall we trample under our feet because we have set our love upon him therefore he will deliver us he will set us up on high because we have known his name we will call upon him and he will answer us he will be with us in trouble he will deliver us and honor us with long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation This morning on Fountain News. Singles Fellowship holds special Valentine's program on February 12th. Collection of items for the less privileged hosts today. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Fountain News. I am Joshua Muraki and with me is Temi Lonua Ami Williams. Glad to have you join us on Fountain News. Thanks you. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, over to you singles. Singles. February is officially the month of love. Mm -hmm. Are you gearing up for the program G4? That is guys, girls, games, and God. It's going to be a special Valentine's Day program like no other. Mark the date, Monday, February 12, 2024. Please watch this space and Singles Fellowship Socials for more details. You don't want to miss this G4, G4 program. Yes, that's it. Now, collection of items for the less privileged host today Drop-off is at the Fountain Gardens. Please ensure the items you are dropping off are in very good condition. Clothes must have been washed and neatly packed. Donation of items for men and children is highly appreciated. Please note that the started this morning and will continue immediately after the service. If for any reason you're not able to drop off your items today, you can do so at the next collection date, which is the first Sunday in March, that is March 3rd. Do you need a job or career guidance? I need a job. Do you need a job? I'm employed. The glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, for those who are not as employed as Timmy. Timmy. Yes, please visit the Hope Center office for information on job opportunities and career guidance every first and second Sunday of the month after the service. That means they will be available to attend to you today after this service. The Fountain of Life Church bus service successfully kicked off last Sunday and is continuing. The buses that brought people from the following locations are available to return people to the same locations after the service. The locations are Yaba, Ikorodu, Mile 2, Iyanopaja, and Ketu. If you live in any of these locations and you would like to join the bus for your location, please visit the information desk at the foyer after the service for details if you have not done so already. If you have new converts or people you wish to invite from your neighborhood, please connect them to the bus systems today. You can get information about different pickup points and times of departure from the information stand after the service. Also, if you own a bus and wish to partner with the church to help bring people to church on Sundays and other service days, or you just want to support the initiative, please speak to the transportation officers at the information stand after the service. Are you a member of the drama department? I'm a member of the drama department. Oh, I see. Mary, well done. Thank you. Drama department is still calling on interested members of the church to join the department. In case you could not make it to the last audition, here is another opportunity to do so. Please meet officials of the department briefly in front of the new water fountain opposite the main church auditorium door immediately after the service. Don't come and tell us that you wanted to ask me you this is the time to go and audition. Definitely take advantage of this opportunity. Healing Streams, that is the medical arm of the church, is calling for new members. If you're a qualified and registered doctor, nurse, pharmacist, radiologist, lab scientist, mental health practitioner, or you work in any other medical field and are interested in serving in the department, please call 0805-249-3496. Please note that interested members must have completed Believer's class. 
The January edition of the Fountaineer newsletter is now out. If you are on the mailing list of the church, the newsletter was sent to your mail last Wednesday. You can also check the church app or visit the TFLC website to read or download the newsletter. I would like to hear from you after you have read the newsletter. Please send your comments, publications at tflc.org. God bless you as you do so. Amen. If your birthday or wedding anniversary is this month, that is February, and you would like your photograph to appear in the next edition of the Fountainer newsletter, please send your picture, name, and birth or anniversary date to announcements at tfolc.org on or before Friday, February 3rd. Now, for those who really want to get fit, were you at the sports club aerobics session yesterday? Were you? In the spirit. In the spirit. I can see in this. Show it. Well, if you were not, you still have an opportunity to join them this Saturday and the next. Time is 6.30 a.m. and venue remains the Fountain Garden in Lukeju. You don't want to miss any of these sessions. I'm sure you're going to burn some calories. You definitely will. In other news, Children's Church holds both on-site and online today. The online classes start at 9.15 a.m. Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. Singles Fellowship holds tomorrow at 6 p.m. Shower service holds on-site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. Let us be conscious of our environment this season and take necessary precautions as we go about our business. May the good Lord continue to protect us and all around us in Jesus' name. Many thanks for watching this episode of Fountain News. Do enjoy the rest of the service. in church I'd like to welcome all of us to today's service on this beautiful day that the Lord has made the first Sunday in the month of February and if you know you know that this is the best month in the year our God is faithful our God is faithful as we welcome everyone to church I'd like to welcome the online community and you are all welcome we have a very big online community yesterday I was at the salon and I was talking of course I don't hide it that I'm a fountaineer and after the lady finished she said I'm one of your online community can you smile or say hello so hello sister and every other person God is in this church I want to thank God for the lives of our senior pastors, Pastor Jimmy and Pastor Tolu. God will continue to anoint them. God will continue to bless them and meet them at the point of their needs. In Jesus' name, our God is good. And then I want to thank God for the most precious gift, the fountain of life pastor, the Holy Spirit. The one that has enabled us, the one that keeps reviving us, the one that keeps helping us, the one that keeps making a way for us. Can we celebrate the fountain of Amen. 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 Thank you for the Holy Spirit. And like the psalmist in Psalm 34, 1, I was led by the Spirit to the TPT version. And it says, fountaineers we will continue to burst in joy. For what the Lord is doing in the fountain of life, church, and our lips will be filled with perpetual praise. I say our lips will be filled with perpetual praise for where God is taking the fountain of life, church, to. And because this is a church that believes in unity, we'll be taking our unity song shortly. But you know, the Bible says in Psalm 133, 1, 
It says how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell in unity. My brothers, my sisters, can we try clapping with one finger? One of our pastors used to do that. Can you try clapping with two? Can you clap three? Can you clap with four? Can you clap with five? Can you clap? So if all the fingers are not cooperating, you won't get a good clap. If you are not cooperating, if you are the Achan, if you are the one that says, my brothers, my sisters, offenses will come. But when you are a child of the law, you have great peace and you move on. That is where the Lord is taking us to. We are all moving on to the next level. Pastor Tolu said something. She said, when you come to service, an online congregation, if you do not have your ticket, the train is moving today. Pastor Tolu will come. Pastor Jimmy will come. Get your tickets. Are you ready? Expectation. Expect action. Pastor Jimmy broke it down. Yeah? And then believe. It's yet to break that down. But I will say believe in. Believe. Leave. Don't be dead. God is taking us somewhere in this church. And you better jump on the train before the dog gets shot. And Pastor Jimmy will say, it, you better take my autograph because it might get to a time where we will need to be doing that to get new members in. Take my autograph now, oh, before it's too late. So my brothers, my sisters, it's a constant change in our church. And we are moving on. We have a new song. We are not holding hands, but our heart is one. We will not give God something that will not cost us something. Like King David said, our clapping cost us jamming our hands together against the walls of darkness and praising our God. So as the choir leads us, I want you to say in your heart that I'm not going to be the one that will divide the fountain of life, church. The choir will lead us in Jesus' name. No more holding hands.
can do better than that. Our God is deserving of our praise. Somebody give him praise. This is February. Are you not surprised that this is already February? Because like, just like yesterday we did Happy New Year and now we are in February. It is a sign of speed for us this year. We are going to have speed. Somebody say amen. There is going to be speed. You know our call to fellowship with God is the call to totally depend on the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Imagine, they will walk. They will not be wearied. They will run. They will not faint. If you do that at Afton, they will go and test you for drugs. But that is what God is calling you to do. Now, you will defy every natural phenomenon. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. See, the waiting period may be very boring, may be very painful, may be tiring, but I promise you, it is very, very gainful. There's a lot of gain when you wait upon the Lord. This morning, we have come to encourage you. Wait on the Lord. Say, I will wait on the Lord. Holy Spirit, you are my advantage. Holy Spirit, you are my leverage. I will wait on you. Hallelujah. Tales. I guess I've outgrown them, but that doesn't mean that I don't believe that there's something bigger than me, cause I've seen it in the hospital room when the doctor said sorry, there's nothing more we can do, well it wasn't true, 
I've never seen a pot of gold on the end of the rainbow, but I've got a promise I can hold in the middle of the trouble. God, if you said it, you perform it, may not be how I want it to, but here's what I'll do. Hey, I'm gonna wait on you. Yes, I will. I'm gonna wait on you. Doesn't matter what it looks like, Lord. I trust in your promise. I trust in your promise. I'm gonna wait on you. 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 Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I trust in your goodness. In your promise. I trust in your promise. That you are the author. There's no predicting what is next, but you hold the future. And all of the questions they come second to the one I know is true. Yeah, you always be true. I'm gonna wait on you.
need to be honest with me. Has God ever answered your prayer before? Ay, 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 ay. Has God ever answered your prayer before? The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Hey, let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be. If God has answered your prayer before, I want you to key into the atmosphere this morning. And say the Lord that has done it before, will do it again in the name of Jesus. Hey, the Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Oh, let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Oh, let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be The Lord will answer you this morning. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will answer you this week. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will answer you this month. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, you said hallelujah. Sit in the presence of the Lord. Ay, 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 ay. You know, as I sat there as the choir was ministering, a picture played in my head. When you go for an interview or an important person tells you to come and see them at the office, you had a conversation with them, you get to the office with confidence. Why? Because they have told you to come. So when you're even speaking to the person at the front, there's a bit of confidence. Here, she asked me to be here for two o'clock. And they say, well, please sit down. Let me go and let them know that you are here. And with confidence, you will sit. You will wait 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, one hour 30, two hour, two hour 30. But there's a confidence in you. You will not go. Why? The person is powerful. The person can do things. So what will you do? You will what? How much more your father in heaven? How much more? You, you will wait. You see, when God makes you wait, one thing I've realized He's building character in you. He's teaching you some things. The waiting period is a place of grooming, a place of growth. Because when he answers you, it's a new level. So don't be weary in waiting. Wait on your father. He has something amazing for you. In fact, we have an amazing promise this morning. Hallelujah. Can we read it together? Is it on the screen? Aha. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. I would read it from the Amplified Bible and there are a few other verses I would like to read very quickly this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Amplified says, I believe it's 23. Yes, 24. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, in God's unlimited power. And I pause there that my God has power, but he has unlimited, unlimited power, but believes that what he says is going to take place. It will be done for him in accordance with God's will, 
For this reason, I'm telling you, whatever things you ask for in prayer, in accordance with the will of God, believe with confident trust. Some people have trust, but it's not confident. When I read that, I said, wow, yeah. Some people have trust, but it's not confident. But the Lord is asking us to believe with confident trust that you have received them and they'll be given to you. I'll just jump very quickly to Matthew 17, 20. I'll read it very quickly. He answered, because of your little faith, you lack your lack of trust and confidence in the power of God. For I assure you, and most humbly say to you, if you have living faith, living faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there. And if it is God's will, it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you. It reminds me of a story that um, I experienced when I was working. I was working at this office and I had this boss of mine who was not particularly nice. You know, and I realized very quickly that walking under this man, first of all, I always try to speak Yoruba because I can speak Yoruba in my mind. No, no, jokes apart. I understand it. If you're speaking to me, I get it. You cannot sell me. But you see, from the mind to the mouth, something changes. <laughs> but I will say it. So this boss of mine was Yimilara. <laughs> oh, Yimilara. Was doing me, you know. I was like, yo, I can't, I can't walk under this man. He was a young man. And I felt like he was just trying to, you know. So, I came to church. You see, the will of God is that his child cannot be disturbed. Some of us do not understand. The Bible kept saying, if it is in accordance with his will, what is God's will for you? My father doesn't want me to be uncomfortable in my workplace. I need to be productive. So I came to church that Sunday. And I said this amazing prayer. Oh my God. And I believed it with every fiber in me. I said, Father Lord, God, promote my boss outside of my company. I'm not joking. I'm standing on the altar of God. I said, Father Lord, promote my boss outside of, of the company and give me fantastic job where he's going. A higher role, a better level that, in fact, eh, he'll be so excited to leave that he will go. I said that prayer on Sunday <laughs> before God. On Monday, when we go to the office, <laughs> my boss sent a mail to everybody. I'm resigning. I've gotten a better job with higher pay, higher role, in a very good, it was a very good company. And I thought to myself, just like that, this guy is going like that. And it blew my mind. And because the Lord answered such a simple but powerful prayer, every time I pray, I bring into remembrance the thing that he has done for me. That's why I asked the question this morning, has God ever answered a prayer for you? Because every time you pray, you're not praying from a point that God cannot do it. God has already done some before. So the confidence that we're praying from is from a place that God has done it already. The God that answered that simple prayer and literally promoted him outside of my company will do this for me. So as you rise this morning with understanding of what God has done before, ask him to move this mountain. Please rise. Ask him with confidence, with confident trust. You know it is in accordance with his will. If you are ill in your body, that is not the will of God. He is called Jehovah Rapha. If you need provision, lack is not the will of God. He is called Jehovah Jireh. What do you need him for this morning? What is his will for you? What is God's purpose for you? Ask him if it is in accordance with his will. The Lord will do it. The Lord will answer you this morning. With confident trust we are praying this morning. With confident trust we are praying this morning. The Lord that answers. When we call he will answer. He's an answering God. When we call he will answer. He's a faithful God. When you call he will answer. Ask him this morning with faith and belief, with living faith and belief.
and in his name, the name that is above all names, in the name of Jesus, he will answer you. In the name of Jesus, he will answer you. In fact, this week he will answer you. This month he will answer you. This year he will answer you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God. The Lord that answers. Let him be my God. The Lord that answers by fire. Woo. Answers by fire. Sorry, there's an excitement in my spirit. As we sang that song, I saw how Elijah was confident in calling down the fire. There was a confidence. When the other ones were doing all their rigmarole and dancing, he just stood there. And when it was his turn, he stood and said, Father, Lord God, from heaven, the one that answers by fire. And what did the Lord do? Ay, 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 ay. He showed himself. The one that, the God that shows himself. He, oh my God. He showed himself, he showed his might, he showed his glory. And fire came down. I don't know who needs God to answer by fire this morning. The Lord will answer by fire for you in the name of Jesus. He will show himself right in your situation. Let's lift our hands to heaven. And let's worship this God. He is worthy of our praise. The Lord will arise and have mercy upon us. He's called Alagbara, the mighty God. The bread of life is from you. Oh, the bread of life is you. Bread of life is you. Mountains bow before you. Mountains bow before you. And the angels worship. And the angels worship you. Oh, are they both shining? Oh, are they the both shining? Did 
Arise, O oh God, and let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh God, and let your enemies let your enemies be scattered. And they are sick, and they are gross, and they are Who is like unto thee, O God?
Thank you for fighting my battles for Jehovah. Jehovah. Somebody just give him praise. Thank you for fighting your battles now. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Oh, Jehovah, oh, look at that. Hey, thank you for fighting my battles for me. you love us so much. See the way you love us. See the way you fight for us. You carry a matter. You carry a matter on your head. You have made us the apple of your eye. Who are we that you are so mindful of us? That you will go to war on our behalf. Yes, Lord. The God of the universe. Father, we say thank you. That you have made us more than conquerors. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. For the battles that you have fought and the battles and the victories you have won, we say thank you. Yes, For the ones that we know and the ones that we are yet to know, we say thank you. You alone deserve the glory, honor, and praise. Father, as we go into a time of your word, I ask you, O oh God, to do only what you can do. I ask that the entrance of your word bring it light and illuminate the hearts and minds of everyone here. I ask, O oh God, that you make my tongue like that of the pen of a ready writer to describe the hearts and minds of those who are ready to receive. I thank you, O oh God, that your word will go forth and fall like good seed in good soil. Amen. It will take root and bring harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. I serve the devil notice in any way where we'll try to stop, to impede, and steal and block the word. I command them right now to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. Take all the praise. It all belongs to you. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. If you believe it, say amen. If you receive it, shout amen. If you know that God indeed has done it, give God a shout of hallelujah. One more time, give God another shout of hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. You may be seated. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Look at your neighbor. Say, welcome to church. Look for somebody else. Say, welcome to church. Before we do that, let's just welcome our online community to church. We see you, our online family. God bless you. God bless you. Now find somebody. Tell them you're looking good. Uh-huh. Find somebody else, tell them you're smelling good. Even if it's not true, prophesy, prophesy. Look for somebody else and say, neighbor. 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 If you knew who I was. Neighbor. neighbor. If you knew the things God was doing in my life. Huh. Neighbor, Neighbor, if you know how bright my future is, do yourself a favor. 
while you still have the chance. Collect my autograph now. Take my picture now. Take me to lunch now. Because it will not always be like this. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. Give God a mighty clap. Amen, 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 amen. Really quickly before we jump into the word, two things. One quick announcement. Um, there will not be any evangelism this Saturday. I know it was announced that there would be, but there wouldn't be any evangelism this Saturday because of the Lagos Marathon. Amen. So just a, a adjustment um, to, to that uh, information. And also really quickly, I wanted to take a testimony really quickly for like three minutes. Um, where is Brother Emmanuel? Let's say that right, Brother Emmanuel. Are you here? Brother Emmanuel, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? So, because you're on my time, I will hold the mic. <laughs> I will be your protocol and usher. Come, sir. Really quickly, God bless you. Don't worry, I'll hold you the mic. Good morning, church. Good morning, pastors. I'm here to testify to the glory of God. Welcome to the middle. Okay, you can hold the mic. But I'm standing close. Yeah. I'm here to testify to the glory of God about what God of Udu Koyas and God of Fountain of Life have done in my life. I had encounters with God of Udu Koyas that put an end to struggles and failures of 39 years old. I was one of the bricklayer man called out last Sunday. And I came out also for painter and bricklayer. And as a matter of fact, I have learned five works. But briefly, because of time, December 14th, I had an encounter. I'm a French radio and TV presenter, and I've been struggling with it for years. And I decided that I will use my grandpa's parlor if I could not rent office or place to use. And in my dream, when I got to that parlor, I saw rags in that parlor. And I was hearing voice that I should pick one of the rags that's, that is how my generation died. That I cannot come here to, no, none of my lineage has come to the level of owning radio or TV station. And I told them, that is what I come here to do. And I've been locked inside the room. All of a sudden, I just saw Pastor Jimmy enter the room without even opening the door. He said, follow me. Two of us went out. When we went out, he took me to a place. And he said, why are you fighting over a room when God has completed an estate for you? He now showed me. And I saw everything I have put in the flyer. French Press Music International. French Radio TV International. And Global Impact French Institute. He said, they have built it for you. This is a key. He gave me the key. He brought me to church. Outside the church there, he prayed. Church prayed for me. And they blessed me. And I went. But I couldn't say it. I couldn't tell anybody. Because it is unbelievable. December 31st, I went for bricklayer work. But I came back because I was working with, I was breaking concrete. And after I finished the assignment, they didn't give me money. I came back home and I was tired. In the night, I couldn't sleep. I saw Pastor Taiwo. He appeared to me. He said, stand up. Go to Fountain of Life. Go and meet Pastor Jimmy, 
is your senior pastor. Take all the document of your abandoned project. Take it to him. He will confirm it. And he will establish it. I've written six books in French language. But all are abandoned. I didn't have transport. I have to find my way to come to church. Last year, I gave a Sorry, testimony. From where? Transport from, you didn't have transport. You had to find your way to come to church from where? From Uwuru Shoki. The last, around Sorry, last year. How did you find your way to church? I trek. Then, I gave testimony here around last year. I wanted to commit suicide. And God saved me. And since then, I've been coming for shower. But because of the distance, I couldn't come for Sunday service. But that 31st, December 31st, I came to church. And I was given this book, a nugget of uh, wisdom by Pastor Taiwo. The message on that 31st was somebody is here, you are afraid of 2024. Now, are you going to cope? And God is going to use a foolish thing to confirm the wise. I said, this is my message. Either crawling or trekking, I will not leave this church. Thursdays and Sundays, I will be coming to church. And from then, I've been coming to church, trekking from Uruzhoki to church. Last Sunday, I was, I, I was glad when they launched the transport something. I went to put my name down. When I put my name down, they said, from where? I said, I will, be, I will join Muto coming from K2. Then I will drop, I will come and be waiting for them at Iyano Uru. Because I do come from inside the Uru, all of from inside. Ah. They called me on Saturday. That, where do I stay? I said, Uru. Ah, they said they are not taking that side. I said, ha. Ah. That man said, what happened? I said, I used to take. <sighs> that man said, I should send my details that he will send transport fare to me. He sent 2,000 naira to me that last Sunday. But to my surprise, I was sitting down there with this, with this pamphlet with me. Because since then, I've been coming to church with this document. I will just bring it. And I've, I was led to translate this book into French language. The third day I started this translation across Global Institute for Foreign Languages. They gave me doctorate, professional doctorate award. <laughs> but I was surprised on Sunday when senior pastor called me and he blessed me with 100K. I was amazed. Then, I repaired my laptop. I was able to come out with this, with the translation of this book to the glory of God. I appreciate you, Pastor. No, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. The God who sees. On his pamphlet, he has painter, bricklayer. The first call was for a painter. He came out. The next call was for a bricklayer. And you say that God does not see. The man that has been coming to church, walking, every Sunday and Thursday, walking to church. And God told me, this person has 1K in his account. And I, he said, this person has 1K and he's a bricklayer. I saw bricks. I said, give him 100,000. Because God is so involved. Sir, this is just the beginning. 
your gift will make room for you. And will bring you before great men. As a matter of fact, funny enough, sir, I've been talking, I've been talking to my team, and I've said it once or twice. I said it to IT. We need to start translating our things into French. I said it multiple times. Because the Francophone countries, that's a huge market that's not been tapped. And one or two people have commented and I started saying we need to start translating messages and sermons to French. As you are a doctor. Sir, please. As you are a doctor. You see, a lot of times we keep waiting on God for us to make, to make the situation right. Things have to be right. He said, if you are faithful over a little, I will commit much into your hands. He's walking to church, but I can speak French. So they give me a book. Pastor Tawo's book, you know what? I will translate it to French. Your gift will make room for you. You are waiting on God. God is waiting on you. What has he put inside your hand? A little in your hand is a multitude in God's hand. So, sir, congratulations. From today, everything that we do, you have it. You have a job in my office, translating French. Books, sermons, everything. Sir, you have plenty of work. This is just the beginning. Please see Pastor Bissoy, see Pastor Tony, we'll get your details. God bless you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the God that we serve. God can be trusted. God can be trusted. Man may never see, but God sees. Man may forget, but God will never forget. I felt that it was important to hear this testimony so your faith can be strengthened. And if God has done it for your neighbor, that means it's in your neighborhood. In this month of signs and wonders, God will make you a sign that will cause people to wonder. So shall it be in Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated. I have a task ahead of me today. I am going to run through it as quickly as I can. We are starting a new sermon series and it is titled, you know, every time I, I see it, I have to confess, maybe it's the, what I hear in my head is, what is love? Don't worry, no more. It's okay. Those who know, know. Those who don't know, forget about it. Look at your neighbor. What is love? Let's jump right into it. So as I began to look over this, it's important if we're going to talk about what is love, we must first dispel what love is not. And I must admit that my industry, and when I say industry, my professional industry, we have not done this subject any favors. When I say industry, I'm talking about Entertainment, Nollywood, Hollywood, all the woods. Because when we talk about love, love is a beautiful thing. Let me tell you what we have done with love. This is how love happens. Uncle is walking out of the room or maybe rushing to the office. Auntie is rushing. And as they are running, they just hit each other. Bam! Oh, let me help you pick up your books. And as they are lift, their eyes connect. The world stands still. The only breeze that is blowing is on her hair. Your heart is beating, giggy, giggy, giggy. And right.
right there in that moment, as your eyes have jammed, you knew you fell in love. Instantly. That's the problem. We have so glamorized this love. Everybody is looking for love, but no one knows what love is. You know, my mother used to say, love is not a feeling that you feel when you feel a feeling that you've never felt before. I'll say it again. Love is not a feeling that you feel when you feel a feeling that you've never felt before. If you feel a feeling that's never, it's not love, it's your hormones. <laughs> but, Pastor, you don't understand, when I saw him, my body was just doing me. I was cold. I catch cold. Pastor, when I saw her, my body was doing jiggy, 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 bam, bam. I could not control myself. Okay. They say love is blind. They say marriage is an eye opener. <laughs> love is not a feeling that you feel when you feel a feeling that you've never felt before. So to answer the question of what love is, if love is not a feeling, what is love? Now let's go to the Bible. 1 John 4, 7. Let me tell you what love is. 1 John 4, 7 amplified. It says this. Beloved, let us unselfishly love and seek the best for one another. For love is from who? Love is from who? God. And everyone who loves others is born of God and knows God through personal experience. The one who does not love has not become acquainted with God does not and never did know him. Why? For God is Say it one more time. God is He goes on further to say what? He is the originator of love. And it is an enduring attribute of his nature. By this, the love of God was displayed in us in that God has sent his one and only begotten son the only who is truly unique, the only one of his kind, into the world so that we might live through. Now, the Bible says God is love. So according to the Bible, love is not a verb. It is not an adjective. Love is a noun. Love is a person. Love is God. The Bible doesn't say God is loving. It does not say that God loves. The Bible says God is love. So if you, are a def if you are a believer, what is the definition of love? Love is God. Love is God. God is love. In math, if you say X equals to 10, that means X is 10 and 10 is... Are you with me? So love is... Let's take it a step further. It says that love is from God, and in verse 8, he says that he is the originator of love. In other words, he is the source of love. That means love comes from him. So if this statement is to be true, that means that any love that does not involve God cannot be love. Uh -huh. If God is love, and he's the originator of love. Any love that does not involve God is a counterfeit. I dare say this, you cannot give what you don't have. So you cannot give love unless you have love. You cannot give love unless you have God. I see that is the mistake people in the world, we keep on making. It's because we're trying to give love to somebody when we have not experienced love ourselves. It's trying to give love when we do not have love ourselves. Now somebody might say, well, hold on, hold on.